Ninja case. Yo ninjas, welcome back to the show. Ninja Bucks is still doing and what did you guys eat today? Yes, so today we're gonna draw something crazy yes never seen before so last saturday i went streaming again on twitch and when i was streaming i got this idea <laughs> yes it was time for another drawing suggestion kind of thing yes so i asked the people on twitch and youtube while streaming there at the same time for some character trait suggestions to draw a character not too many per person, but a few suggestions per person. So some crazy suggestions came out of there. And the first one was with VW Killa and Noxie. Killa said like broccoli and a dungaree. And Noxie said thief sunglasses. Then later Acer by Jane uh, dropped in and said short. And awesome 20158 said more of an evil kind of character. And next to that I am Shell by Rose dropped by and said cute. And Crazy Twist 101 dropped in and said wheelchair. So those were the suggestions uh, to create this character. So yeah sit back relax and enjoy. <laughs> So yeah, ninjas, the first thing to do was create a sketch. The most difficult part of this piece. When this part is done, the best I could do in that time. Then we can step over to the next stage, to the inking stage. Most times I do similar techniques for drawing stuff. And because this one needed to be done in one hour, made certain decisions. And because there were many suggestions, one of the things I don't draw that often, looked at some reference on Google images, which is a thing that most pro artists do. Don't be afraid to use reference when you don't know how to draw something. Especially when you have a limited amount of time and a deadline to finish a certain piece. For this one I enjoy the sketch with the mechanical pencil. These days mostly I sketch with the mechanical pencil. I just love to sketch with it because the pencil fillings inside are pretty strong. Also one of the reasons why I got this specific one in the first place. It was a few years ago when I was on vacation in Indonesia. They also advertised this mechanical pencil in the store. That the pencil fillings of this mecha pen are extra strong. I remember that I used to have the mechanical pencils. Where when drawing the fillings broke really easy. They still do with this one but less often. And I just love the green color on this mecha pen. Oh yeah, the mechanical pencil is called the Unikuro Toga 0.5 and what I used for the insides, the pencil fillings they are called Uni 0.5 2B Nano Dia Blended High Quality Leads, just in case you wanted to know. Alrighty, the pencil sketch is done. I think at this moment the visualization were good enough of the pencil sketch to go to the next stage, the inking stage. For the inking stage I chose a different tool than what I use most times for inked drawings. Most times I want to draw with the G-Pen because of its specifications, what I can do with it. The thing is that when I ink with the G-Pen, drying the parts takes some time to make the traditional process faster. I decided to ink with Micron Pigma fine liners instead because they dry faster. Also because there was a time limit to finish this piece and want to have enough time saved for the next stage. The Micron fine liner I use for this one is Sakura Pigma Micron 03. Got this some time ago in a package from my fellow ninja mates at Royal Talents. When you draw illustrations, manga, comics and such, I think these types of fine liners are really handy to have in your art supplies collection for drawing inked lines the traditional way. You can also use them for calligraphy. Most times they come in a package in different point sizes, which is handy to put in different details. With this drawing use the 0 0.3 size because it's not too thick or too thin, at least in my eyes, and because I have a time limit with this piece, first one to put in the most important lines. If time is left, I can always put more detailed lines on it later. 
After the inking is done, I erase the pencil lines with the mono eraser. I just love that eraser. Got first introduced to it in Japan when I was working as an intern in an anime studio. They mostly use this eraser to erase their pencil lines and I have to say it works great. Since then I most of the times use this type of eraser. Later found out that there are also different types and sizes of the eraser for the more tiny detailed parts. Next to that I also use the feather to remove the eraser particles which I also got in Japan back then. Of course you don't have to use this. You can also use your hands or a dustpan. I prefer the feather because it just looks way cooler to me. And you also see the other mangaka use it a lot and the crow guy from Bakuman, the manga anime. <laughs> also the feather gives this old school medieval look, you know, the time uh, when they use quills a lot. Remember the good old days in the 90s? The 190s BC, damn those were the good old days. When sticks were stones and bread were bones. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's start the color stage. For the color stage I use the twin markers which is like cheaper alternative for Copic markers. If you can find them for cheap at your local stores, I would recommend to check them out. They have two edges on the marker, a smaller nib and a bigger nib, which both are hard and a hard type of brush. For this piece mostly use only the bigger marker parts to fill in the color fast because of the time limit. For the moments where needed I think I also use the smaller point at the end of the marker. The only downside I have so far with this type of marker is there is no soft brush on it so it's hard to blend colors softly. Next to that I heard read on Facebook somewhere someone told that you should not let the marker drawing let open in the sun for too long. Praise the sun! Because of that the colors can fade a bit away, not staying that fresh. For that the solution could be to save them in dark places, in a folder or something. Or make a digital version, print it out and hang it on the walls instead. But the price and quality of these markers can't really complain too much about these. 4 euros for 12 of these markers. I haven't seen a better deal so far in my country with this type of quality. These markers are not sponsored by the way. <laughs> but I think that when you don't have a lot of cash or just start to color, these are handy to try out. Next to that you can also mix them with Copic markers, which I sometimes, a lot of times do, to save Copic marker juice. Because damn the Copic markers are quite expensive, over here at least, but the quality is really good. Yeah, experimenting with both when you get a chance, I would recommend if you want to draw or color something traditional. Choosing colors was quite a challenge in this piece. The broccoli part was easy, just green. The pants, I imagine this typical blue one that mostly the easiest part of the color choices. The rest was just going with the flow with the question, what fits best? Which color do I have? Also have a, another sheet of paper to see how the colors look like before coloring it on the actual piece itself. Also made the chair more dark to make the character stand out more. The wheels and tubes more gray to have more variation of the wheelchair. The red dots below the eye to make the broccoli more cute and the eye colors for a more evil like appeal. Put some white stuff on it for the highlights. Actually got a new white pen for the highlights because most of the times they don't work that great for me. Walked randomly in a store with me made fate and picked up this one to sketch out if this one does work. So far the juice seems to work out very nice. So up until you watch this video I would recommend to test it out if your white stuff pens don't work that well for you. Or maybe you have other ones that also work. Please leave a comment which one you use for it. So we can check that one out as well. For the last few minutes went in a real rush to put on the final touches as fast as possible. With the tools I had at the moment laying in front of me. Alrighty then, the drawing is done. So lastly, uh, yeah, some letters, one hour challenge, autograph, and of course the names in the description with the specifications, what everybody said for making this piece possible. So I want to thank all the people that left some suggestions for this character trait uh, on the live streams. If you guys want to join one day on the live streams, I randomly do these, these character trait things. It's not really planned or something, it's just like, Hmm, let's do it now or now, whatever. I don't do them that often, but when I do them, you can just join the streams um, if you happen to be there and just leave your uh, yeah, suggestions. You can also right now leave other character suggestions in the comments. Maybe you can pick some of those and make something random out of it later. 
or even uh, leave fan art character suggestions. So characters you like of anime, uh, TV shows, manga, movies, anything, games. Maybe we can do something with that later as well. Yeah, next to that you can leave character traits. So yeah, that uh, was uh, most of this piece. I hope you ninjas enjoyed this Mr. Broccoli. Uh, yeah, ninjas. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh yeah. So the marker I used for the highlights, I used is called One For All. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Boku no Hero Academia, the manga anime. Acrylic 127 HSEF from Molotov. Molotov? How do you pronounce Molotov? I will leave the names in the description so you can check it out there for yourself. Alrighty then, ninjas, thank you very much for watching once again. This was a real fun challenge. Ninja Box is stilly, and see you guys the next time. Case out! Yeah. Choose your ways for more Ninja Case. Become a ninja. You can seek me anywhere by the name Ninja Case. Sneak in the name of Berlin at Ninja.